I like the most about the ballet is the music. That's why I do the ballet. It's not so much because of the story. There are many stories sort of the same. All, most of the big ballets are about love and hate and, you know. So what, I, what inspires me the most is the music that Prokofiev composed. I think it's one of the most beautiful scores made for ballet. I just follow the music and that's why I think this score is so clever and so genius because you don't have to put much, too much from yourself, you just follow the music. It's like postcards. Prokofiev already, with every part of the, every scene, he tells you through the story, through the sounds, through the use of instrumentation, so clearly what you have to do as a choreographer. Other choreographers can be more abstract or, or can, you know, but he portrays so well through music the story. That's why I don't like the versions where Choreographers change the story or change the music, cuts too many things because it is just perfect. I do it in Verona, I do it in the Mediterranean. I have not seen a production that it is really Mediterranean. I want my production sort of to smell of jasmine and orange and cinnamon, you know, <laughs> and of the sort of Mediterranean air. I try to also have Romeo and Juliet much more human. I took away a lot of pantomime. I, I actually, there is no pantomime. It's all through dance that I try to explain the music and the story. And also in this version that I follow and that I didn't cut anything, and there is Rosalinda, and there is Romeo, and Benvolio, and Mercuccio, and Teobaldo, and you know, Juliet, and the mother, and the father. Everybody dances very much. So the mother and the father, they are young people. If Juliet was 17, I gather the mother was maybe 30, something like that. I see many productions, the mothers are sort of like retired ballerinas and they sort of walk around the stage. So I, I try to, also the, the nurse is a young girl, a young woman, so everybody dances very much. Actually, I think I cut only when she, like four or five minutes the music when she runs to Fray Lorenzo, and there is this music that it is repeating again from this theme of the balcony, and nothing really happens. So I don't think that this music is the only thing I would have said to Prokofiev. Do you mind if we cut this little piece because it doesn't really add too much to the story? And the costumes are very much inspired on Renaissance, but much lighter, so that people can dance and move. The heads are more modern, more contemporary, but, it, but the, the atmosphere, it's Renaissance, absolutely. I knew the, the kind of Juliet I wanted to have. I wanted to have a very young Juliet, quite crazy. I think she was quite crazy. You know, to run away that night and sleep with a guy the first night in those times, and then get the poison and all of it is quite you know, quite a uh, mad woman, so I wanted something like that. I'm very young and innocent, not knowing what to do, very irresponsible, and the same with, uh, with Romy. So you, I want them to appear very, very young and without any experience, which I think that's what it is. I read many times again the, the play and some of the things that Juliet says, like for example when she first sees Romeo and when he first sees her, or with things that Mercutio Teobald says or the Prince of Verona, it's so hard to do that in movement, you know. So that's why I just tried, it's not so important if maybe people don't understand exactly what's going on, but they have the feeling of 
what Shakespeare wrote, so beautiful.